If you're thinking about quitting your job, I have a story to tell you. My husband was at a coworker's 30th work anniversary. He was sitting in the back of the room, enjoying the celebration like everyone else. And the only thought that kept going through his mind was, if I'm still here in 30 years, please shoot me. The idea of working for the same company for 30, 40 years was just terrifying. Don't get me wrong, working for the same company and retiring is an outstanding achievement for many, but for others, it's a nightmare. Just like my husband, many of you may have that same feeling. Initially, showing up at the same job every day might feel like the right path, but after a few years or more, the routine can start to weigh on you. It's not always obvious, but eventually there's a point where you realize this job isn't for me anymore. So what are the signs? The first, you're living for the weekend every single week. Let's be honest, we all love the weekend, but here's the thing, if as soon as Monday hits, you're already counting down the days until Friday, that's a serious red flag. Imagine this, it's Monday morning, 9.15 a.m., you just sat at your desk, and the first thought that pops into your head is, is it Friday yet? You've barely started the week and you're already wishing it away. If that's how you feel every Monday, like there are 877 days between you and the weekend, it's time to wake up. The truth is, you're not just having a bad week or a rough patch, you're enduring five days of your life just to get two days of freedom. And that's no way to live. Your work should be something you're passionate about, something that makes you feel alive, not something you're trying to escape from. If you're living for the weekend, you're wasting over 70% of your week. Think about that. Five out of seven days, you're just surviving, waiting for the weekend to save you. You deserve better. You deserve to wake up every day and feel like your work matters. Like it's something you want to do, not something you have to endure. So if you find yourself living for Friday every single week, take it as a sign it's time to quit. Get out while you can and start building a life where you don't feel the need to escape from your job because life is too short to only live for two days out of the week. The second sign, you don't care to advance at your job. You walk into work every day, sit at your desk and do what's required. Just enough to not get fired, but nowhere near enough to move up. You're not volunteering for stretch projects, not pushing for that promotion, and you're certainly not asking to take on more responsibilities. Now, you might think, what's wrong with that? Most people just go to work to do their jobs and clock out. And while that may be true for some, here's why it might be a problem for you. There's a fundamental human drive to grow, to strive for something more. Sure, some people are perfectly content to coast through their job for 30 or 40 years, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're someone who lost the motivation to advance, to learn, or to push yourself at work, then it's a sure sign you're in the wrong place. A close friend of mine was once the go-to person at her job. She was always up for new challenges that were thrown away. She was the first at the office, usually the last one to leave. She loved planning team building exercises, leading events, and participating in different types of affinity groups, all of which were above and beyond her scope of work. But then something changed. She was passed up for a promotion that she desperately wanted. After that, it was like a light switch flip. She started showing up just to get through the day, doing the bare minimum. And it became clear that her heart wasn't in it anymore. Her focus wasn't on her career or excelling like it used to be. Every day at her desk felt like it drained her energy and she became more and more disengaged. It was so tough to watch, especially knowing how invested she once was. We see it all the time. Sounds familiar? If this is you, it's time to quit. It's time to take that energy and redirect it towards something that will actually excite you, whether it's a new business venture, a creative project, or a career change that aligns with where you want to go. Staying in a job where you no longer care to grow doesn't just waste your time, it depletes you. Instead of sitting in a chair that drains you, imagine investing that energy into something that fuels you. Don't stay stagnant, get up, get out, and put the effort towards something that lights fire within you, something that will allow you to grow, learn to take risk and advance continuously, and not just coast. Here's another sign you should be quitting your job. You can't stand your coworkers. Another clear sign that it's time to quit is when you just can't stand your coworkers. You don't want to build relationships with them, you avoid the office happy hour, and you're definitely not answering any calls or texts after hours. You're not going to lunch with them, you're not laughing at their jokes, and honestly, the sight of them approaching your desk makes you cringe. You're counting down the seconds until they walk away. If that's how you feel, it's a sure sign you need to get out. When you're in a job, you spend eight 
sometimes 10 or more hours in that environment surrounded by the same people. Building relationships is key. In fact, it's not just a nice to have, it's a fundamental need. Relationships play such a significant role in our overall success and happiness. Strong relationships is the most important factor in long-term happiness and well-being. And in business, strong supportive relationships play an even bigger role in your success. You have all heard this, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. If the people you're surrounded by don't challenge you or make you want to be a better version of yourself, find a different group. So if you're in an environment where you dread interacting with the people around you, change your environment. You deserve to be in a space where you feel supported, energized, and excited to engage with your peers. If that's not your current reality, it's time to quit and go find a team or a network that aligns with where you want to go. Don't waste your time in a place that drains you. Seek out the right kind of environment that will not only push you forward, but also make you want to build those meaningful relationships. Because success is not just about what you know, it's about who you know and who you grow alongside. Here's another sign. Your to-do list is filled with meaningless tasks. Let me ask you this. Have you ever looked at your to-do list and thought, what am I even doing? You check off a bunch of boxes, finish the day, but instead of feeling accomplished, you just feel empty. You had a list, you got through it, but it didn't move the needle on anything that mattered to you. It's like you're on autopilot, just doing task after task because that's what the job demands. Every day you sit down at your desk, you open your notebook or your app and there's a list. It's filled with a bunch of small, uninspiring tasks. You know, things like check my emails, attend boring meeting, finish report and update spreadsheets. You complete them all, check off all the boxes, but when you're done, you don't feel like you've accomplished anything important. There's no sense of progress towards your bigger goals, just a sense of getting through the day. Now, think about what that's really doing. Each day you're just going through the motions, stuck in a cycle of busy work that doesn't get you anywhere closer to where you truly want to be. There's no excitement, no energy, no drive behind what you're doing. And the worst part, you might not even have a to-do list anymore or be making a to-do list anymore because you feel like, what's the point of it all? If this sounds familiar, it's a sign you need to quit your job. You need to create a new to-do list, one that actually matters to you. A list filled with tasks that, that excites you, challenge you, and makes you feel like you're getting one step closer to something bigger. Because when you're working towards something meaningful, your to-do list should light you up, not weigh you down. Ask yourself, are you checking boxes just to survive another day? Or are you doing things that will bring the best out of you and push you towards your long-term vision? If you're stuck in that first scenario, it's time to step away. Quit the job that's keeping you stuck in the loop and build something that makes you want to check off every box because you know it's leading to something real. Here's the next sign. You're exhausted even when you've done nothing. Ever have one of those days where you get home, you sit on your couch and you feel completely drained, even though you didn't really do much work at all. It's not physical exhaustion, it's emotional and mental. Your job is draining your energy, not because the workload is overwhelming, but because you completely disconnected from it. You might spend the day browsing the web, going through the motions or attending pointless meetings. By the end of the day, you're wiped out, but not in a fulfilling, productive way. What most people don't realize is when you're doing work that truly energizes you, it has the opposite effect. Finishing the day gives you that dopamine rush. You feel accomplished, like you've moved one step closer to something important. You're not drained or tired. You have enough energy to hit the gym, go out to dinner with friends, or keep working on that passion project of yours. But when you spend eight to 10 hours staring at the clock, browsing the web, doing tasks that feels pointless, or talking to coworkers you don't connect with, your energy plummets. You're drained, not by the work, but by the lack of meaningful engagement. When you're stuck doing boring, uninteresting work that you don't care about, irrespective of the level of difficulty, you'll experience significantly higher levels of fatigue and burnout. So if you're finding that every day feels like an emotional drain and all you want to do is collapse on the couch after work, it's a strong sign you need to quit. You need to find work that gives you that dopamine effect where you end the day feeling energized, not depleted. Don't waste your energy on tasks that kills your momentum. Redirect it towards something that excites you and fuels your long-term goals. The next sign is you're dreaming about your side hustle more than your actual job. You're sitting at your desk again, task piling up, emails demanding your attention, 
but your mind is somewhere else entirely. Instead of thinking about the next deadline or your project, you're brainstorming business ideas. You catch yourself Googling things like how to start a bakery or what would my menu look like? You're more engaged in mapping out what could be than in the work you're being paid to do. You start counting down the hours until 5 p.m. eager to leave so you can finally work on something that feels more meaningful. Your job becomes a distraction from your real goal, building something for yourself. And here's a telling fact, 70% of employees are disengaged at work. If you find yourself more excited about your side hustle than your day job, that's a clear sign you've already outgrown your current role. This isn't just about excitement or enthusiasm. It's about the fact your energy and focus are being pulled towards something bigger. If your mind is consistently occupied with thoughts of how to build, launch, and grow your own venture, it's a signal that it is time to make a move. You're not serving your job and your job isn't serving you. It's time to invest that energy into something that's entirely yours. Here's the next sign. You're not proud of the work you're doing. When someone asks what you do for a living and you hesitate, mumble something vague or flat out say, oh, let's not talk about that, that's a big red flag. If you don't feel proud or excited about the work you spend most of your time doing, it's a clear sign something's off. By the end of the day, you're so disconnected that the last thing you want is to even think about your job, let alone talk about it. And let's be honest, if you're dreading Mondays by the time Sunday afternoon rolls around, sitting there thinking, I really have to go back to work tomorrow, that's more than the typical Sunday blues. We've all been there, but if the thought of your job drains you before the week have even started, it is definitely time to reevaluate. Think about this, if you spend around 40 hours a week working, which adds up to about 90,000 hours over your lifetime, shouldn't it be something you're at least proud of? When you're connected to your work, you'll want to talk about it. It's that thing that you'll bring up at dinner with friends, your family, or even random strangers you're excited to share. If you're not feeling that level of engagement, where your job gives you something to discuss, it's time to consider a change. Life is too short to spend such a massive chunk of it doing something that doesn't make you feel proud or fulfilled. Recognizing these signs that it's time to quit your job can be a decisive moment. Whether you're disengaged, dreading Mondays, or more excited about your side hustle than your current role, these are all clear signs that your energy and ambition are pointing somewhere else. But before you quit, it's important not to make impulsive decisions. Quitting your job shouldn't be done on a whim. Do not go into your office tomorrow and quit your job out of nowhere without a plan. You need to have a strategy, an exit plan that can be lining up a new position, building up your side hustle to a sustainable level, or saving enough to transition smoothly. Ensure that your next step supports both your personal and financial goals. Your plan should align with your long-term objective for your life and a journey that excites you.